Hey guys, it's Ellie and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a lipstick swatch video and I can't say this and I've said this four times already and I've had to re-record it because I'm having a hard time saying lipstick swatch video. Wet n Wild Mega Last lipstick review and swatches. That's what we're doing. I'm saying it once. Okay. So this line of Wet n Wild lipstick is my very favorite lipstick in the world right now. I have 12 out of I think 23 of them, which is the whole collection, and I am super excited to show you all the colors that I have. You've seen a lot of them in videos already, but you didn't know which were which, and I have gotten a lot of compliments on them, so I'm excited to show you guys. So let's talk about the product for a second. It comes in super cheapo packaging, which I don't care about because the product is good enough that I don't care, and it's a dollar and change to buy one. So you really can't go wrong, and when you buy Wet n Wild stuff, you're not looking for like superb tart packaging, you're looking for cheapo makeup that you're, you know, thinking it's gonna be really good, and a lot of times it really, really is. So the color I'm wearing right now is Bear It All, right here. It's the first one I'm gonna swatch for you guys, but I wanna talk about the fact that they both have a four hour lasting color payoff, and that's true. So far in my experience, my lipstick lasts at least four hours. This stuff doesn't go anywhere. I can eat and drink and kiss my husband with this stuff, and it's all good to go. I find that a lot of the colors, especially when you get to the darker colors, are really lip staining, and I love that. So let's go ahead and get started. I know you'd rather see them in action than listen to me talk about them, so right now. Okay, so the one that you just saw is the one I'm going to apply again. It's Bear It All by Wet n Wild. It's their most nude color. So this is one of my very favorite shades in life right now. I wear this all the time. You've probably seen it in several videos by now. And while it is a nude, it still has some pinkish tones to it, so it doesn't look like, you know, just skin colored lips like white nude lips. It's a very warm nude and I love it. It's one of my faves. So this is Bear It All. Next up I'm going to show you Just Peachy and this is a similar shade. It's really bright though. It's like a peachy nude. I think it's a little too bright for my skin. Let me show you. So if neon peach were a thing, it would be this. So I think this is a little bright for my complexion, but I respect it as a color. You know, I like the idea of it, but I've never actually worn it in real life, except for right now on camera with you. So you know, just peachy. Next up is Think Pink, and this is another bright pinkish color. This is less nude and just pretty much just really bright pink. So let me show you. So this is like your Barbie pink. I think this is the creamiest one in the collection and I've never worn this. I don't think I'm ever gonna wear this. It's a little too Malibu Barbie for me. It's just super bright and super pink and just, I don't think it works on my skin tone and that's okay. It just, you know, it's just not one of my colors. So staying in the theme of super bright pinks, next we have Dollhouse Pink and I wore this in an outfit of the day and it's one of my special occasion lipsticks. I have to feel a certain way to wear this one because it's really bold. So this is like an electric pink with a purple undertone. Like I said, I can only wear this one when I really feel like rebellious or something. I don't know, it's not an everyday lipstick for me, but I think it's an amazing color. So as you can see, my lips are already getting quite stained. They're quite naked right now, but you know. Next up is Don't Blink Pink, and this is probably my number one favorite shade, even more than Bear It All. It's not an everyday shade, but it's freaking awesome. It is an electric hot pink, and it's so, so pretty. So let me show you. I just love this. I think it works really well on my skin tone for a bright color and I don't feel self-conscious wearing it anymore because I've gotten quite used to it. But I think it's just a really fun color for one of those days where you just want to be really like bold with your makeup and it's just really fun. Next up is Purdy Persimone and this is another one I haven't yet worn because it's orange and I'm just not confident enough yet. I'm not ready. So this one's just very orange red, and that's all I can really say about it. And I haven't worn it yet, but I'm happy to see it on myself. This is the first time I'm seeing it on myself, so I don't know. Next up is Smokin' Hot Pink, and this is a darker hot pink. It's not as vibrant as Don't Blink Pink, but it's a really nice hot pink. I wear this one a lot, so you've probably seen this before. This is one of my very favorite for videos. All right, next up is Cherry Picking, and this is a reddish pink color. I. I feel very neutral about this one. It's just a very classic reddish pink. I don't have any amazing feelings about this, but I don't dislike it. <music> 
Next up is one of my favorites for this time of year. This is Red Velvet and it's a really classic red and I freaking love it! This next one is my number one fall shade. This is Spiked with Rum and it's a beautiful brownish, reddish, just burgundy. I love it. It's beautiful. It's got some nude tones in there so it's not anything crazy. It's just perfect for fall. The last one I've got here is Cherry Bomb, and this one I haven't tried yet, but it's supposed to be a beautiful winter shade. It's just a reddish based dark, dark, dark shade, so I'm excited to try it with you right now. I have for you is Sugar Plum Fairy and this is another one I haven't tried yet because I got both of these in a package from a friend so this is my first time doing this and it's a dark purple based dark shade and it's good for winter and I'm just really excited to see so let's let's do this right now before I chicken out. pretty dark but I actually prefer this one over the last one we tried. I love this. It's perfect for winter. So guys that's it for the lipstick swatches. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm hoping to get the last 12 or 13 that are left in the collection that I don't own but the list of the ones that I've swatched for you today are down below in case you need to reference them again and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Leave any comments or questions below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!